Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 73 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino. This is a bit of a special episode because we have a lot of different things this week. We have a big mistake, we have great news from the youth department, and uh, there's news from the transfer department, as well as an update to the sheet, and I'll share some thoughts about what I have to do scouting-wise and look for with the team going forward. Let's start out in the traditional manner with this week's scouts call, Giorgio Bolini. Let's see a gem here. 15 years old, Danilo Crescenzo. Weak winger. Could reach weak scoring. That's not good enough. Unfortunately, we'll have to call another scout. Sergio Costamagna. 15 years old though. Weak passing. Weak overall. That's not good enough. Feels a little sad to see two 15-year-olds and I'll bet we won't get a 15-year-old now. 15. Franco Valentini. Remain with Paul. Remain with Paul playmaking. Overall abilities weak. It's not a great youth pool. But uh, Franco Valentini, here he is. We might end up firing this guy. But um, at least he's 15. While we're at it, let's take a look at the latest youth match we played. The biggest star in the youth department at the moment is Riccardo Bonifazzi. And if we look at this guy... Right now, he has passable defending, he's already reached it. We need to develop his winger skill up until his solid max here. But if we just go over the player list, and if we scroll all the way down to Bonifaci, you'll see that he has an unpredictable event in some of the matches. I had to get a little help from Hattrick Youth Club in order to find the actual match where the event happened. And it was actually all the way back in September in this match against Calcio Soba Juniors. And you'll see here that Bonifaci actually had an unpredictable event in the 10th minute of this match and he missed it having an unpredictable winger prospect wing back prospect perhaps even is pretty nice for us and i hope that he can bring some extra money to the build because as you will see right now we've had a bit of a howler in the transfer department let's just look at the transfer history here and check out anti lemity a pretty strong goalkeeper that i wanted to sell in order to liquefy and have some funds ready for buying wingers it ended up quite badly if you look at our loss here we bought him for 50 million danish 5 million euros roughly a season and a half ago and we actually only sold him for 3.5 million euros so let this be a lesson to everyone watching be more careful about setting your minimum value i ended up losing badly on this one back to the transfer activity report you'll also see that we found our secondary winger and while he's not super talented compared to the other guy actually a little old we'll have to live with the fact that this is what we are capable of finding with the market at this point he's unpredictable and i've added the two new wingers into the sheet so let's take a look at the overall sheet and see what we have working for us in the build at this point so last week we saw sanati and frangioni popping both to brilliant playmaking very nice here and you'll see that i've stripped the sheet from all irrelevant players in the build right now four out of five players above 2000 hgms 28 but you'll see here nikolai belciugano almost 21 years old already unpredictable but he's more talented than igor here who's quite close age-wise already impossible for me to find san marinese players so we'll have to deal with two foreign players in the winger position and they might end up being quite expensive wage-wise but that's just how it is at the moment we have weak defending on belgigano passable playmaking obviously mythical winger solid passing and unpredictable scoring eco becker will see he's wretched defending poor playmaking solid passing and and poor scoring as well he has a little extra set pieces we will be going back to defense training in eight weeks to boost this just a little extra the inner midfielders will gain some extra defense as well and i want to show you guys the training planner with all five players going forward the next player we are looking for in roughly two seasons or so will be in pnf with a bunch of scoring already trained obviously he won't be needing defense so it'll be after the next defense stint as well but we'll be scouting for a pnf quite soon now let's move back to the training planner and have a look see how nikolai and igor will be developing alongside the other trainees the new wingers start with eight weeks of playmaking seeing them rise to excellent and passable then we add nine weeks of defending and hopefully they'll be able to reach passable inadequate i'm hoping for a little bit of a sub level for igor 
Daniel and Nikolai respectively, uh, perhaps seeing them rise an extra level. Then we move back to playmaking and we should see them rise to magnificent for Becker and world class for Bel Gigano. Pretty decent winger players at this point already. Then we'll add scoring and we should see Bel Gigano reach solid and hopefully a little extra sub level for Becker because passable is a bit on the low side when looking at his ability to convert special events as an unpredictable player. Then 10 weeks of passing and that should see them rise both to outstanding another season of passing. This is sorted season by season for me to be able to swap around the planner depending on the situation. But both of them rising to magnificent. Then a season of playmaking, seeing both of them get to supernatural playmaking and we are slowly reaching the stages where we want to increase stamina. Right now in the planner I have a stamina setting of 24 and that's looking at being quite competitive at this point. If we are a little further away from being competitive in the league we might speculate in a smaller rise in stamina and then we add passing. The last few seasons of the cycle training might be mixed up depending on the situation. Some weeks you would want to train some set pieces because you simply cannot get all of the core players fielded due to wanting to compete in both the cup and in the league but this is the training planner as it is right now. In the cup assess that we did win 4-1 against the bot team here. We did see Bernie Schlager, one of the skill trade players, make an own goal in the 63rd minute. Nice thing to look at here is definitely seeing Igor Becker making his debut playing as an inner midfielder towards the wing. But a good win and we are through to the next round in the Copa Sesta. In the next round we play River and the Sea and let's just take a look at the strength of uh, this opponent. We look at the last league match. They're playing against Royalties United and a very strong defense. Strong center attack. This could be a tough nut to crack to be honest. While we also want to get some training done. So we'll see. Perhaps it'll be an open match more than I anticipated going into round four the Copa Sesta. We also have to consider that we need to start engineering good training for skill trades with the team in Denmark. We cannot continue in the Copa Sesta forever. It is a thing to take into consideration. Sunday evening we played against Berlin United and we had an idea it would be a tough game this one. We did lose 2 to nothing, and it was hard getting through the defense of Berlin United with supernatural central defense and magnificent side defenses on each of the sides. 15% chance of converting in the right side. It proved to be too much of a hassle playing on this rather unique snowy field on Berlin United arena so a loss two to nothing and that leaves us in a tough spot in the league next round we play FC Mamante and it might be quite tough to get points in that match as well perhaps we'll have to change our concept of playing rather offensively against the top teams in the division but if we don't get points in the next one we'll be having just four points after five games and that's nearly halfway through the season not really going as expected at this point I have to say that so that leaves a lot of room for improvement for the this season we need to make more money and be more careful about our transfers and we need to start scoring some points so hopefully you liked the episode i'll see you guys next week take care and have a great weekend hat trick